So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, what we have here is a graph question. So let's take a look at our graph. Uh, looks like we're in the quadrant three over here. And that's really all. I see a, a, there's a definite point here at negative five, negative six. Everything else I'd be guessing upon, uh, also here, negative 10, negative one. So I know those points for certain, maybe even these two as well. So there's a few things that I know here from the graph. The question says the rational function f is defined by an equation in the form f of x equals a over x plus b, where a and b are constants. The partial graph of y equals f of x is shown. If g of x equals f of x plus 4, which equation could define function g? All right. Now, let me just make sure. The graph that we're looking at is the f of x graph, so it's this graph. What can I tell about this graph, if anything at all? What can I tell? It looks like we have an asymptote building here at the negative four. But I, you know, I can assume that, which would tell me that b was positive four, like a over x plus four. I'm not sure that that's necessary though. Um, so let me just focus my attention on what is the g of x doing to the f of x? So this x plus 4 means that we're shifting our f of x function to the left four units. So everything that I know about this graph, let's say this point right here, on the g of x, it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4. It'll be over here, right? And this one will be 1, 2, 3, 4. It'll be over here. So it'll, it'll look exactly the same, except our graph will be kind of like this way, shifted to the left four units. So then which equation could define function g? Well, maybe I can just use this point, for instance, that I know should be there by shifting the f of x graph to the left four units. And maybe that's, maybe that's all I need to really test out this question. So that point is the point negative 9, negative 6, which means when x equals negative 9, y equals negative 6. I can test that. So for choice A, for instance, g of x equals 6 over x. That would be 6 over negative 9, and g of x would equal negative 6. That's not true, right? Negative 6 does not equal 6 divided by negative 9. How about, how about for choice B? Does negative 6 equal 6 over negative 9 plus 4? No, it does not. So that's gone. Choice C does negative, and again, I'm just replacing, right, because y equals g, y equals negative 6. It's the same as saying g of x equals negative 6. g of x and y are the same thing. y equals g of x. So I'm using this point right here. just want to slow down and make sure you understand where I'm headed. I'm using this point, x equals negative 9, or when x equals negative 9, g of x equals negative 6 to plug into my answer choices. So when I plug in negative six for my g of x here, I can then plug in x, this becomes six over negative nine, I think we found it, negative nine plus eight, which is six over negative one, and that makes this true, right? So choice C is true. I'm gonna try choice D just to make sure. So this would also be negative six. Let's plug x in here, I have six, parentheses negative nine plus four, over negative 9 plus 4, which technically means these would cancel out. And I just have negative 6 equals positive 6, which is not true. So choice C is the correct answer. And I just want to make sure you understand that I used the strategy plug in information from the question, but I had to translate this question first. I had to understand what this graph shift, right, how I should say, this g of x equals f of x plus 4 shifts the f of x graph. So we see that it shifts it to the, unit, to the left 4 units because it's a plus 4 inside the parentheses. Insiders lie is a term that you may have learned in school. Um, anytime you have a number associated with the x inside parentheses, you always shift to the left or right in the opposite direction that you would expect, right? So plus 4 shifts us left. If it said a minus four, that would shift us right. Um, so then I'm just plugging those, plugging in what I get from the graph, right? I could have used, I used this one, 
but I technically could have used this one as well. Or any of these points as long as I move them over to the left four units. So that's it. Choice C is the correct answer.